So. Yeah. It's interesting that as you mentioned that last bit about between PR and marketing, mm. it's, it's really funny. I've come across this too, Jen, where people think, you know, PR and marketing are actually one of the same thing. And it's a big confusion people have is like, you know, when they, you know, when they come to us or even come to you, probably they actually come like, Oh, what's the ROI of podcasting? Well, you know, maybe you can help shed some light on that because, you know, I think people might be confused about it or why am I not, they probably are wondering, Oh, I'm getting on like some podcasts, but it doesn't seem like I'm getting a ROI of it. Right. Exactly. So, so explain that. Like, I guess yeah. I know obviously you're not a marketing guru, but like explain like how the difference is and like just how it's different in command your brand, like how we, how we portray that, you know? Yeah. Good, really good question. And good point. Yeah. Cause I get that a lot. I actually yeah. have something written up that I use when I'm corresponding with people in writing because it becomes like, oh, I, I don't, you know, I've, I've done marketing before. I'm like, yeah, but we're not marketing. So there is a big difference. I mean, they do overlap. Don't get me wrong. You know, marketing sales and PR form a triangle, like a three stool, yeah. three stool, um, three legged stool. But PR always rolls out first because PR is like I said, it's getting you out there. Like the best PR I could think of is like Apple right? Everybody knows who Apple is because they've done a great job of PRing themselves. Right. They don't even really have to market at this point because their PR is so, so good. Oh, the next right. iPhone's coming out. But think of it like this. Like if you have a company, right? Say, you know, you have the Josh Silvestro talent agency, right? And you start, right. there you go. You start like <laughs> outflowing to market and to try to sell people to like market, do your marketing. People are like, who's this guy? I don't know who he is. He's a clown. Who is he? This Joe Schmo from... Creskill, New Jersey, right? <laughs> so what, <laughs> what you want to do is get your name out there. So, you know, PR is a little bit like it puts the key, turns the key in the door and opens the door so marketing can go right through. And then people will come back to you based on, hey, oh my God, I saw him on this Command Your Brand podcast. Really cool. Or, you know, hey, Command Your Brand placed him on, I don't know, your, your talent agency, come up with something. Um, the, <laughs> the let's get everybody on TV shows podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. So, yeah. um, so once you, people see you, they'll know you, they'll like you, they'll trust you. That's the value of PR. Like in marketing, we're looking at ROI, which is return on investment or lead gen, lead generation, where people come back in. In PR, it's invaluable to get yeah. yourself known. And it really shortens the marketing and the sales cycle. So, you know, we have clients who have said they go on podcasts and they get calls back in after the podcasts because somebody saw them on a podcast. Like it's yeah. visibility, it's amplification of your voice. And it's like drawing a very straight line from what you want to say to the people who want to hear it. And we book like right. super high end podcasts for. So. You know, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned that 